Hi YouTube in the future, hi Twitch chat right now, welcome back. We just finished the main story of Control yesterday and today we got the DLC working. I thought I didn't have it. It was a whole, it was the whole thing, but I got it, I got it working. So we're gonna start some DLC today on our Control first playthrough. Welcome, I'm excited. I, I had to, go and buy the Humble Bundle Alan Wake DLC pass for Steam because Steam doesn't even sell it anymore. But Steam had my control game labeled as Control Deluxe Edition when it wasn't actually, it's actually just base control. But it tricked me and I had it labeled wrong, so I thought I had it already, but I had to go there. I had to grab that key, thankfully it worked, even though Steam doesn't even sell the DLC anymore because 505 or Epic, whoever, like, took it away very rude so if you're having any problems on your control game on steam try to find there's a reddit post with a humble bundle link to the season pass the dlc then you can get that and then install it it's a whole thing but we got it working so now if you look we should have the foundation and a dark place I think we're gonna start with the dark place because I want to get this I think this is the Alan Wake DLC so we need to get this all done before Alan Wake 2 let's do it all right so now that we have the DLC working well let's go talk did we even talk to Emily yesterday sorry ma'am I took sorry Darling, I love darling. Okay, so. Hello. I've looked through the docs we found in Dimensional Research. That slide projector is extremely powerful. You don't say. You were right to shut it down. Okay, maybe this is different stuff, or this is what we had yesterday to talk about. Hi, Danny Prime. First time live. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. Thanks for watching that and for coming here. Yay! Yeah, we're just starting the Alan Wake DLC right now. Sweet, thank you, welcome. Thanks for telling me. All right, Jesse as director. How do you feel about me taking over as director? You act like it just happened. You've been director since we first met, remember? <laughs> I am still thrilled. Nothing's changed, not for me. But the Bureau has changed. Trench and Darling are gone. Their knowledge, anything not written down, disappeared with them. They knew the Bureau better than anyone. They're the Bureau's what? past, Emily. We won't operate like they did. We'll learn from their mistakes. Okay, Queen. We'll be better than they ever were. She we won't ever be like them. All right, honestly, true. Thanks, Wicked. Yeah, welcome, Dandy. So gifted. Thank you. When the hiss got into my head, I saw some weird things. Yeah, like Dr. Darling dancing. I think Darling even spoke to me. Does that make any sense to you? Well, empirically, no. But phantom voices, as well as hallucinatory states, are not uncommon here. And considering the forces that Dr. Darling was working with, he could have been transferred to a different plane of consciousness, physically or otherwise. And that doesn't upset you? Oh, very. And the fact that he hid those forces from me, oh. it's infuriating. Oh. But Darling's dream was always to look beyond our reality. This time he may have taken a step too far, but as long as his consciousness can perceive his surroundings, I'm sure he's loving it. Maybe Darling was just trying to protect you from the darker side of his work. Fuck that. Oh. I'm not a child. Oh. Like, don't just assume I'm going to consider something morally repugnant. Which it all was. Which it all was, of course. Hmm. How was Dylan? That's my brother. The same. I, I can't detect any his activity, but his physiology has certainly been altered by it. I can't tell if his brain activity is genuine or simply the aftermath of the hiss, like mm. spasms. Dylan could wake up tomorrow, for all I know. I really can't say. Then I just have to wait for him. 
My little brother. That's fair. Yeah, I love her. He waited a long time for me. Aww. Don't worry. We'll be monitoring him round the clock. If he wakes up, we'll be ready. I don't mean that in a hostile way, just... Well, you know. I know. I hear you. My brother isn't exactly popular around here. I hope one day he'll have the chance to change that. I like how we still have, like, her thoughts, like her talking, her inner, her inner monologue, but she's not talking to Polaris anymore because they're not in there anymore, right? So we're just talking. She's still just talking, but it's just her. So there was a moment after Hedron died that Hedron I couldn't Polaris. feel my powers. The hiss got into my head. Just for a moment. So that explains the HRA outage. Before we knew what was happening, the hiss had us. They were in my head. I saw terrible things. I mean, I was about to go under forever when the hiss was pushed back. Oh the my HRAs God. had come back on. Why did they do that? Dylan vanished afterwards, and we fought off the hiss that came after him. So if Hedron's death knocked out the HRAs, that uh -huh. means there must be a new local source for them to relay. Which I'm guessing must be... Me. You. Geniuses. Hedron is dead, okay. assuming that word even applies to a resonant-based life form. But whatever it awakened in you... The power you call Polaris is still active. Okay. Or at least, that's what my instruments are telling me. Okay. I don't think we're ever gonna understand all of this. Okay, so... And I'm okay with that. I'm just glad you're here with okay, me. Okay, so she is still there. That's good to know. Okay, I thought she... I thought... Thanks, that. Emily. Because okay. we still have the power, so I just didn't know if the voice was still there. Okay, so never mind. Okay. Okay. I thought we had lost the voice permanently, or like lost Polaris in there permanently, but still had the powers, wasn't sure. Okay. I found Dylan attacking the astral plane and the board. What was he hoping to accomplish? Huh. Since they arrived, his have been corrupting objects of power, which have an inherent link to the astral plane. Maybe their goal was to access the astral plane and the board itself. That still doesn't tell us why. His motives are a difficult thing to work out, but I have been digging through confidential files and noticed a strange gap in knowledge regarding the board. Looks like any data on them has either been deleted or was never gathered in the first place. Then maybe it's time someone looked into that. Smart, true. Maybe it is. Maybe, it, maybe I should. Thank you so much, Em. Well, I've got a bureau to run. See you soon. Yes, ma'am, Director Faden. It's cool Please, how... Please, Emily. <laughs> Not even as a joke. She keeps doing it. Okay, it's so cool how we got, like, Jessie starts... In all her, like, old interviews and stuff, she's really, like, super not confident, and she sounds so shaky. No like, her voice is lighter and shakier. Like, she's younger, obviously, but she's less confident. And then she's just, like, gaining her confidence through this whole process. And now, look at her. She's like, I'm the boss. I got this. I can do this. And it's like, that's kind of cool. What are you saying fine about? Polaris is the resonance, but unclear of sentient. Hedron was a living entity that was the catalyst housing Polaris. Okay, that's what they said is... Or I heard that. Okay, thank you. Because they said Hedron was the catalyst. And I was like, okay, wait. I'm so confused, though. So Polaris is the whole resonance. If sentient. Okay. Hedron was a living entity. Okay, thank you. Hi, Flav. I love it so much. I just finished the main story yesterday, but we have a lot more to do. Man, I never thought I'd be working in the executive sector. Look at me now, Ma. <laughs> Hi, Adeste. Hi there. Hi, Pawn. Hi, Madness. Yeah. Thank you, I'm glad. I love putting all the videos on YouTube. Yeah, right? Like, it through her voice. 
So if Hedrin was calling Jesse, either it knew it had to die for Jesse to take over in a fight that has, or just didn't want to be captive by the FBC anymore. Okay, true. I'm glad I could have you guys to help me process through it, because I get a lot of stuff, but it's like so much at the same time. So Arish, how you doing? What's up? So, what's next for Simon Arish? Well, first off, I'm banning all slide projectors. That's it. <laughs> Seriously, though, we need to review our protocols. Research should not be making decisions that endanger the entire bureau. No, fuck it. The so entire true. fucking world. So true. Without some serious oversight. I think Pope would agree. Certain people in the bureau have been working in the shadows for too long. And I'd like to make these HRAs part of the mandatory bureau uniform. They're not stylish, but better safe than sorry. I don't think anyone will complain. Not after this. Yeah, true. What about me as director? You think I'm a good director lady? Flores wanted to be free and since it lives in Jesse now instead of Hedron, it isn't held down by Darling or anyone. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. What are your thoughts on me serving as director? <laughs> well, I couldn't be more excited. I mean, look, don't get me wrong, Trench was fine, but well, you pulled us back from the brink, so. Well, I'm honored to serve, ma'am. I mean, fuck, shit, Faden. Sorry. He'll get it one day. Mm -hmm. So, what's the situation in my bureau, Arish? The situation is we are still up to our eyes in his. Not to mention the months of repairs it's going to take just to get this place up and running again. But is it doable? Of course it is. You just might need to tell some rangers to grab a wrench once they're done hunting his. Did anyone ever mention to you that Darling was using the slide projector? Well, Salvador never did, but um, I doubt he even knew. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm well aware that it's our job to study and contain the things that we don't understand, but some of the things that Darling did were way outside of our mission statement. I still love him. Look, these things are not toys, and acting like they are is only ever going to end one way. At least Pope seems to understand that. Well, it's secure now. No one can reach it without my say-so. But thank Christ for that. Marshall's been missing for a while now. Marshall. Any ideas where she could be? Oh. The last time I saw her was in maintenance when I was leading the Rangers out of the Atlas. Yeah, I told her it wasn't safe, but she said she had to go check on something. Did you ask where she was going? Whew. Marshall is not the kind of person you question. <laughs> kind of intimidating, you know? But uh, she was by herself. If that helps at all. Okay. Not really, <laughs> but thanks. Hopefully she turns up. Stormtrooper. I'll see you later. You know where I'll be. Hi, Cyber Demon. You're watching my Black Mesa playthrough right now on YouTube on your TV. I was curious, so I checked in. Ah! Hi! Thank you! Wait, there's so. Uh, you guys, there's so many of you saying that today. Thank you. Hope wants a full physical oh my god, I love Black Mesa. I can't wait to play Half Life One, like looking for any original Half Life One. Everything's good here, director. Oh my gosh, thank you, and thanks for coming here to tell me. Okay, hold on, we're not gonna go to the elevator yet. First, thank you, welcome. I really, that makes me so happy. Thanks for watching on YouTube and for coming here to tell me. Oh, it makes me so happy. <laughs> okay. So, all right, where did you, where did I, wait, I need to, I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on with the Audi. I don't even know anything. I'm sure we'll know more, but like with the other DLC, but. I got the DLC working. I had to do a couple things, but I got it. Cause it's not actually available on Steam anymore and my game was mislabeled. So I thought I had the deluxe edition, but Monty's I did not. he's still gone. Okay, so he's still. I get the feeling he had more of an agenda than he let on. <sighs> did he already get what he was here for? Hmm. He's just on Parma vacation. Hmm. 
where did we want to look? Unlimited PTO policies, so true. Where did I want to go to NSC Energy? I forget why. <gasps> Scare me. Oh my god, I look so funny just like dressed in my gold suit flying around. <laughs> it's so weird. Y'all can just die, no offense. I got a lot of points. I need to like upgrade my weapons or something. Oh yeah, from the source of the power. Oh, we could just go this way maybe. Launch attack is really fun. Like a professional. Is this, where's that? Really lame. Hi, Radio. Thank you. Wait, Wicked Gifted Elf as well? I'm sorry I missed that. Thank you. Wait. Are the pop-ups even working? Oh, yeah. That worked. I must have been talking. Who knows what I was doing. Thank you so much. And thanks again, Radio. Yeah. Only Zerks are faded. She's fancy. <gasps> I have mold rooms, I forgot. Haha, <laughs> you can't touch me finally. Oh god. <laughs> oh my gosh, finally I can get moldy and I'm okay. Alright, well we got this. We got this. What's this cafeteria concern? <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. These stupid mold rooms have been bugging me forever. I died there, I know. <laughs> I got hurt. I was like, oh. Cafeteria concerns. Director Trench. As head chef, I need to express my concern about rumors I've been hearing regarding mold appearing near some of my kitchens. I'm alerting you that any food handled, prepared, or consumed in the vicinity of mold can be contaminated and unsafe for ingestion. If I can verify these reports, I will need to close multiple cafeterias. I realize this would be an inconvenience to many, but as a caterer, I pride myself in keeping a pristine environment for food preparation and service. Sincerely, Jay Pullman, head chef of the Golden Chow Catering Company. Oh, I have a hole in this sweatshirt too. What the heck? I'm falling apart. Costumes on each version. Energy. <laughs> oh, they humming in here. <laughs> Why do I check shelters when I've been there a million times already? tried a lot to get in the mold rooms without the pill. <laughs> like, what did you try? I like, tried... Oh, wait, I have one here. Wait, where am I? Oh. Oh, the power plant? Or no? Wait, what am I doing? Played this on PS5 around to each location like I wanted to do that. I kept saying that like six different times. <laughs> Getting lost. <laughs> I'm really good at that. I'm really good at that. Am I going here? Where does this go? Black rock. Hello 
Teza, you're barely late. What am I doing? Where am I going? You're asking the right questions. Ah. Oh wait, did we even go up in here? Up in here? Up in here. Stop it. Oh my gosh, wait. Is there stuff? Did I even go up? Time to parkour. I look like I should be in Hitman or something. I'm really early, yeah, because I have to stop stream early today. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the map, so, the map doesn't really keep track. I know, I said so many times. I was like, I need to write down where this room is. <laughs> I never did. Never did. No, I've never played him, man. I watched my brother play some. I only said that because you're just running around in a suit with a gun. Okay, new loot there. Well, let's check over here first. Oh my gosh, I almost fell to my death. I will go up more. What the heck? Okay, I would have never come up here. Thank you, Coda, for the small suggestion. I got too many things in my brain. I heard it used to be worse. Oh gosh, just all gray? Oh my gosh, I would have... I don't even know. Please hold. Is this the one I already went on? I think it might be. up here oh another part of the black rock quarry wait level five door oh is this how i i don't even know is this how i went here in the first place so have i been up here i don't remember how i'm little where I came in originally. <sighs> oh, like this is where I came into this whole area? My voice just went so high. Oh yeah, this is... Or how you entered the quarry the first time. But I came up here? I didn't even know I've been up here. Oh my gosh. But now that looks familiar right there. Now that you say that. Yeah, but I didn't have flying. So true. <laughs> I've been over there, probably. So then I've never been up here. Can I get on this? Oops. Oh gosh. I missed. Oh my god. 
Pokemon appeared. We saw this in the other part. What is the fire TV doing here? My Yule log from the other day. Surfboard procedures. No unique procedures required. Any attempts to abuse the object's effects for personal gain will result in termination. An antique surfboard believed to originate from the 1960s due to its design. The item enhances self-confidence when touched, and the duration of this effect is blank. The item came to the Bureau's attention through a popular nationwide tour of speaking engagements advertising the item as a proven miracle worker, especially for those afflicted by personal shortcomings. This self-help course was called The Power of the Board, created and operated by a man named Chester Bliss. Numerous attendees experienced an immediate surge in optimism and daring after touching the item. Once the craze reached a fever pitch, with events attracting thousands of people, the Bureau took action. Agents raided Mr. Bliss's Los Angeles home, only to find the house empty and the man gone. Only the item remained in the house in plain sight. What the heck? What? What the heck is this Yule Log TV doing up here? That was in the other part, too. I'll leave it right here. Control panel ready on the power of the plant you went past. Wait, I swear I saw screens right here that I didn't look at. Yeah, right here, when I was fighting. But is this not it? NSC. Oh. Northmore Sarcophagus Container. The two previous directors both lost control while dealing with paranatural forces. I don't want to make that a rule. NSC. Northmore Sarcophagus Container? Northmore was the leader before Trench. Excuse me? Like he's in there? Internal movement detected? Beg your pardon? I I beg it? You're what? He's what? Are they using his body? It's the director's duty to keep the lights on. What the frick? Not yet, Beast. I just started and I went up, I just did a little exploring real quick. Nothing really crazy except that. What is that? Are you a person? Excuse me? Oh, I've been up here. Oh my god, why did you look creepy? Periotillion. The excess energy had to be contained, hence the NSC. Holy frick. Holy frick. Literally tells you in the beginning, talking about the pensioner, but it's mixed in with crazy Finnish idioms so you don't realize what the heck. Oh my gosh. I want to go back and watch everything. <laughs> it's funny how often this, the game straight up spoils itself indirectly. That's what I was wondering, because like, it's so hard to know though. I always try to pay attention to stuff like that and wonder if it's relevant, but I just have no idea what's going on. So it's so hard to guess and figure things out when it's like, I don't even know what's going on. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> What the heck? Weird. Generate heat and now he's a generator. What the hell? <sighs> Weird. Hi, Vanister. Okay. I want to try this other gun. Why not? Or actually, we got to level up for Shatter. Thank 
carry C ammo cost while levitating. Um, Or I want to go back to the one damage after kills so I can just keep killing. But I want to try charge explosive projectiles. radius. Why not? Hello. Okay. I think that's... What did I... Real quick, since I know where one more mold... Wait, I think this mold room, I already... Remember when I ran in the mold room in the very beginning? In the, in the dead letters... Or the mail room, the dead letters, I think. When I ran in upstairs in the mold room and I grabbed the item, I think I got it. But there might be something else in there. But I died as I grabbed it. But I want to make sure there's not another one because this is the only other mold room I can think of right this second. Just in case. Oh, wait, this is the wrong one. It is the mail room. Just in case there's like one more. I got an item in there, but just in case there's a letter as well. Or a good note. Well, yeah, if I grab it. I'm saying if there's another item that I didn't grab. Okay, great. Actually, I think I can go up like this. No, 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 don't touch me. I know exactly where it is. It's right here. But then I ran in. And I grabbed it over here, so I got that one, but I just don't know if there's a... No, if there's not. Okay. That's funny. Hee <laughs> hee! I cheated. I think there is. Nope. Okay, good. Just making sure. Anything else in here? went up here, did I? Yeah, I got it. Anyway, I was just leaving anyway. <laughs> New gun tonight. Whatever, I was just leaving. I don't need to be here. I wanna go back here. I'm gonna go in this elevator because it tells me to. Because I want to. Why did it, yeah, why did it miss though? It's so rude. I wanna change. Cute. Let's go. Good to see you, ma'am. Thank you. Darkness engulfed the elevator. There was something there, reaching for her, trying to make her act. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man. 
a hunger in the dark. How do you know this stuff? How do you write this? Investigation sector. Investigation sector, huh? All right. You should check this out. All right, Wake. All right, Alan Wake. Don't mind if I do. Where the frick are we going? I did not look up the lyrics now. Don't mind if I do. We have a whole new hotline, a wake hotline. Oh my god. Darkness engulfed the elevator. There was something there. A presence. Jesse Faden could hear it. A call. It was faint. Reaching for her from a dark place. Faden was sensitive to visitations. She had them all the time. From her guiding star and the previous director. She was the perfect receiver. As if she'd been made for this. Faden paused to feel it. The force at play here. It was changing things around her, subtle. Trying to make her act. Faden didn't like that. Her guide felt it too. Polaris didn't flare up in defense as with the hiss. So it wasn't all bad. Not a hostile transmission. It was powerful, but it was coming from far away. How are you just writing this? It made weak because of the distance. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man. A man desperate to escape. She sensed something else, too. A hunger in the dark. Not unlike the hostile resonance. Waiting. She knew that desperate acts can have grim consequences. It was this, more than the man's despair, that made her follow the call. The elevator lights went back on. The darkness receded like a memory. There was a new button on the elevator control panel. Investigation sector. Faden pressed the button. The elevator doors slid shut with practice bravado. Hmm. Is this even canon? Is Alan Wake just writing the whole thing? I'm joking, but how is he writing this? How is he doing this? Who knows? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm excited. That's just rhetorical, by the way. I'm just thinking. Hello? Of them. Hello? Anyone here? Alan? Yes, not. Literally, that's what I was just thinking. I was like, are you guys sure? Like, I can hear Alan a little bit in Dr. Darling's voice, but like when he's out and like right there, I'm like, that doesn't even sound like Darling at all to me. Like, I can't even, I can't even tell. <laughs> missing agents, 2017, Mr. Kirkland. Here are latest agents confirmed missing, presumed dead from the containment breach yesterday. Jonathan Connor, Ezra Cruz, researcher, Kelly Dempsey, Lindsay Malcolm, Agent Charles Murray, Derek Shaw. Letters of condolence will be delivered to you to sign prior to sending them to the families. It will be updated as soon as additional confirmations are made. As per your request, a network engineer checked how many cases were backed up digitally. Unfortunately, a large number of active investigations were not archived yet. Only had copies of reports exist behind the firebreak. They're lost, I'm afraid. Investigations were not archived yet. Well, good work, I guess. Not. Seems a lot more crowded than the rest of the bureau. Just grab all this. Casey inquiry. Tiger, why are you yelling? I can't feed him. Official findings report, Dr. Casper Darling, internal confidential summary, per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation, D whatever, was launched into the ethical practices of Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Despite the accounts of anonymous blank regarding inhumane treatment of a blank currently housed in the Bureau, our official 
findings regarding this these were or this were inconclusive despite the accounts of anonymous like regarding human treatment of a prime candidate maybe currently housed in the room talking about dylan maybe i don't know numerous obstacles arose during this investigation the majority of blank sector personnel seemed to be wholly unaware any such blank contained there one blank confirmed the blank's code name to be blank but all files pertaining to that name were inaccessible being classified under the highest clearance level investigators were similarly blocked from entering the blank research wing to interview its staff the matter was further complicated by the lack of clarity on whether non-human paranatural entities warrant humane treatment while the investigation cannot address any charges against Dr. Darling, we do recommend an investigation into blank research. Are all actors the same? Sorry, let me hear. Yeah, a lot of games act a lot of games do that too, like companies. Not just for me, but yeah. Casey inquiry. Doctor or Mr. Denise. Or Dennis. A request came through recently from an FBI agent asking for all files on Bright Falls, specifically on the disappearance of the author, Alan Wake. Per the Interagency Information Exchange Agreement, I had some paper pushers gather up a folder of all the pre-approved files. Don't worry, all the inappropriate material is either missing or redacted. <laughs> inappropriate? But I'm, letting, or I'm writing to let you know that we received this request from a special agent named Alex Casey. Sounds familiar, right? That's because Alex Casey is the name of the fictional detective in those hard-boiled crime books Alan, Rake, Alan Wake wrote. Pretty interesting that an FBI agent sharing a name with the most famous character Wake wrote is looking into a case dealing with the writer's fiction coming true? I think this is worth looking into, but what's your opinion? Just give the word and I'll start surveillance of this guy. Special Investigator Gleason. What? Who said then? Is that actually possible lead okay there's no date on this or anything interesting big lore yeah what the heck oh my gosh what the frick cauldron lake update fbc the to chief investigator investigator dennis it happened again, third time this year. Something certainly has it out for our blank. Could be raccoons, the locals certainly complain about them enough. Why the hell would raccoons keep going after a monitoring station? Doesn't add up. Anyway, I've got a bureau tech going to the site next week to take a look. Next on the list of recurring problems is the staff at the Lake House Research Station. How am I supposed to effectively keep an eye on Blank Lake, Cauldron Lake, if they won't let me see any data? Hell, I don't even know what they're researching out there. We need to petition them again to share their info with investigations agents. It's only a matter of time before this blank hits again, and I want to be prepared. Anyway, if anyone in HQ asks why the Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, tell them it's because we couldn't take any readings. In the meantime, I might invest in some raccoon traps. Sincerely, Agent Estevez. I know, we're going to be processing a lot today. Just so you guys know. <laughs> like, be prepared. Okay. So we know they were already, like, keeping an eye on Cauldron Lake. And everything, but... Staff staffing issue. Mr. Dennis. So, yes. There's an increase in AWE cases, and yes, it would be a good idea to put together a special task force to examine exactly why that is. However, it seems that a tiny little detail has slipped through the cracks. We don't have the damn staff. If you expect us to detect, investigate, and process more AWE cases, you need to give us more people. It's simple math. Between the staff we lost in the Hartman thing and the ones who left for, the, for other departments after Kirkland quit, we're barely managing to keep up with the workload. Hell, just finally paperwork for all the altered items we left behind in the sector has been an ordeal. Another thing, and this is going to sound paradoxical, but we have an overcrowding situation. <laughs> this lobby isn't meant to accommodate a whole sector's worth of staff. We put forward a motion to move investigations to a more suitable location months ago. It better not still be sitting on your desk. The people are getting restless, and as Kirkland's interim replacement, it's your job to handle it. Best regards, Agent Grayson. Hartman, Emil Hartman's the doctor. Awesome Hartman thing. What the frick's a Hartman thing? 
He's the doctor at in Bright Falls. Who was gaslighting our boy? Holy frick, there's so much in here. Submission letter. Let's just grab it all and then read it. What am I doing? Get out of my way. Supplement tractor Vero tractor AI 82. No miscommunication led to a local coroner examining the body of William Burrow. Oh, Burrow, oh, Burrow William male Caucasian 33 year old man found dead on his property per police report. Remains obtained for coroner's office also include blood, urine, bile, stomach contents, and bone fragments. Autopsy find blunt force injuries, head lacerations. Blunt force, right knee dislocated, complete avulsion of the right upper extremity with associated fracture, proximal right humerus, exerted trauma, abdominal region, organs, stomach, heart, pancreas, kidneys, portions, blah, 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 blah. It is my opinion that Mr. Burrow's death is not the result of mechanical accident as claimed by the authorities. The removal of his organs is consistent with animal attack. Resignation letter. To whom it may concern. Blank a blank 2019. Boy. Thanks, Michael. It was with great anger and regret that I tender my resignation as head of investigations for the FBC. This is from Kirkland, William Kirkland. I do this in protest of the rampant disregard for my department's blank. My staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears, so I must now rely on my actions to speak louder than my words ever could. I blame the situation on our blank who has routine, routinely ignored my request for assistance in reclaiming the parts of the investigation sector lost to the blank loose inside. I will never forget the screams of brave agents begging for us to open the firebreak. I will carry the shame for the rest of my days. The blank has failed his agents. I shall never forgive him for that. Sincerely, William Kirkland. Okay. The director, maybe? Who? Mm, okay. Whoever it was. Mr. Kirkland, we stopped at Keystone on our way to t the target AWE, like you asked. I'm sending my report directly to you. Try and keep a lid on this Groom and Morales, Morales des desertion issue. We didn't find any sign of them here, given our records, their records. It is possible they've switched teams like you suspected, but I don't think that's the case. An event def Oh my god, sorry, I can't read today. An event definitely occurred here in Keystone, and I think Grumman and Morales got caught up in it. The entire population has vanished into thin air. Reminds me of the ordinary case, but that was just the adults if I'm remembering the file correctly. This is different. I think our guys are casualties, not traitors. If it was an AWE, it seems to be over. We walked through the whole town, and the only strange thing we noticed were markings on various buildings. Two overlapping circles with a dot in the shared space. Okay. Could be unrelated. I'll show you the pictures when I get back. In the meantime, you should send a team out here to cord cordon this place off and maybe get the comms guys working on a cover story. Agent Keenum. Oh my gosh. My eyes. It's even powering. We put us somewhere else. Hello? Hmm. It's not working. Why? Probably a loose power core somewhere. What if I was supposed to leave the battery in there to unlock it? Now I'm just gonna take it with me. Holy frick, there's so many notes in here. <laughs> Go back down there. I don't need you. Yes, I do. Come back. Dang it. Okay. Special warning. I'm just gonna take it all because who knows what order I'm gonna read it in. Okay, thank you. Pick up 
pick it all up first. Should open. Excellent. We're so smart. Okay. I already went in that room, right? And then this just led up there. I didn't even take the stairs because I'm not a square. Search your records. Oh my god. Director investigation. Official findings. Summary. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, blank was launched into the blank of director Zachariah Trench. I'm sorry, what? Something or so-and-so was launched into the of Trench. A recent change in blank witnessed in Director Trench, including aggressive blank when blank with other staff has been observed. However, this investigation is aimed at interpreting this issue rather than proving it. Notable blank between Trench and Darling has been witnessed by numerous bureau staff. Okay, so like arguing. Although both declined to meet for an interview on the matter, witnesses account, witness accounts suggest their arguments center around the dimensional research wing and the blank kept inside. However, no evidence exists to confirm Trench's blank as anything more than interpersonal disagreements. This investigation has concluded that Trench's behavior is not indicative of any blank and that his fitness to lead is not in question. Okay. Sorry, but okay. And then, okay, so we had director investigation, then ethics investigation. <laughs> yeah, it's true. They are doing some investigating. Makes sense. Prime Candidate Program, Official Findings Report. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, compiled by Patricia Lewis. Oh, my tooth freaking hurts. Authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation was launched into the legality of the Prime Candidate Program, blank, by the federal, or by the FBC. Since all known subjects relevant to the investigation use executive privilege to decline interviews, very little first-hand information was gathered. However, anonymous sources and documentation declassified by Kirkland both paint an alarmingly clear picture of systematic blank and blank. Blank were brought into the oldest house and placed under blank examination and testing with the aim of appointing one as director upon maturity. This program has produced no successful cases and only resulted in the traumatic blank of paranaturally inclined blank. Not only is this in breach of the ASH Act, but it falls in the face of basic human blank. The investigation team unequivocally blank the prime candidate program and recommends that it be blank immediately, but then they just stay torturing my brother Dylan and destroying his mind and then letting it get taken over by the hiss. Uh, so thanks a lot. Good investigation. Good, good things they're all doing to him. I'm pissed. Oh, Underhill. Uh, official findings report. This is the, the bitchy, <laughs> the bitchy mold, mold lady. Yep, it just got filed away. Nothing was done, and they didn't even get to talk to the guys in charge because they declined. So great. Rhea Underhill, summary. She is a professor at the University of Woodrow in the United Kingdom, where she teaches biology with a focus on botany. Dr. Underhill once worked with the Bureau as a parabotanist stationed in the research sector of the oldest house. She served with no incidents or demerits and is praised by those who formerly worked with her, including Dr. Darling. Dr. Underhill has no known connections to paracriminal organizations or any record of breaching her NDAs since leaving the Bureau. Her civilian behavior has been ideal, with the exception of an ongoing personal relationship with Dr. Darling that appears to have begun during their time as co-workers in the research sector, sector and revisited intermittently ever since. Depending on the duration of her work in the oldest house, it may be required to have both parties sign a relationship clearance form. She's so I'm dancing, couldn't resist. Why would he want her and not me? She's so mean. This investigation has found no compelling reason to deny Dr. Darling, Dr. Darling's request to offer Dr. Underhill an interim position. 
with the aim of finding a solution to the mold threshold issue. So he just hired her because he had a crush on her. Who couldn't exactly. Interesting. Case files. Tractor procedures. Item is not in the Bureau of custody. None known. A Frank Elk <laughs> instead of a John Deere. Love it. Frank Elk tractor, olive green. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Olive green, dried blood on the grill last <laughs> when last seen. Item was capable of vocalized responses or growls in unmanned locomotion. Remember when we fought all those freaking backhoes and tractors and trucks in Alan Wake? That's what I was talking about, I feel like. Considered highly aggressive and dangerous. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after the death of William Burrow, owner of Burrow Farm outside of Trenton, Texas. Oh, this is a different place, but... It's like what happened to me in, Bl in Bright Springs, or Allen. Local authorities arrived on scene after an employee found the mutilated body of Mr. Burrow beneath his tractor. Police arrived, but were immediately driven away by the tractor. Panic calls to federal authorities were intercepted by Bureau communication staff. A team was dispatched. Just imagine, like, a tractor just, like, growling and, like, a, like a feral dog. Like a wolf at the house. <laughs> it's so goofy. Upon arrival, the agents approached the item. It responded by growling like a bear. Exactly. It's so, it's so funny. Three agents were injured when they tried to detain the item, which escaped. Aerial searches for the item are ongoing. Speaking to Mrs. Burrow only revealed that she had a domestic altercation with Mr. Burrow earlier that night of the incident. Whether these events are connected is currently unknown. Oh my god, so she just ran him over with the tractor, but then it was a coincidence that it went feral. Sorry, I can't breathe. FBC, Kirkland, I'm growing tired of your blatant attempts to lay your incompetence at my doorstep. This is from Trench. I know you want this to be true, but you are head of investigations. This failure is your responsibility. What did you think would happen holding a dangerous specimen in investigations? The containment sector exists for a reason. They are better trained and better equipped for this type of work. In fact, they've admirably taken on certain AWE monitoring responsibilities that your staff are no longer capable of. This happens more and more now. I don't think your petty internal investigations have gone past me on or my but I notice. You are a worm. Everything I've done has been for the benefit of the Bureau. The Prime Candidate program only failed because of darling. You're both failures plotting against me. You're traitors, but the truth will emerge out of you. You're choosing to become my enemy, Kirkland. You don't want to be trench director. He is such a whiny baby. A worm! A worm through time! <sighs> this is crazy. but something definitely happened here. Genius, Jesse. Genius. Blessed organization. Blessed. Paracriminal profile agent Tim Ren okay. This group individual has operated outside of the Bureau's notice for decades, perhaps longer displaying a level of skill and caution rarely seen in paracriminal groups. A review of past cases has found various mentions of their activity over the years. In 2016, a production company called Bless Pictures was connected to an altered item case, as well as the, de of, as well as the death of an agent from exposure to illicit paranatural materials. <laughs> 10 out of 10 input. <laughs> In 1994, a Los Angeles-based public speaker named Chester Bliss was involved in the illegal use of an altered item. That's the one who had the surfboard, right? Is that what we just read? And like going around saying, if you touch this, you get so confident. In 1988, a business called Bless Repair and Service was sus suspected of involvement with an object of power case, perhaps even creating it. 
None of these businesses or individuals has, have ever been located. However, their connection to appearances of altered items and object power is too direct to be considered circumstantial. An arrest order has been issued for any persons believed to be involved with the blessed organization. Hi, Carl. Good morning. Specimen escape assessment. Incident A49 of the findings. The purpose of internal investigation is to examine the containment failure of specimen SI1 that resulted in the deaths of blank agents. An inspection report of the containment equipment three days earlier showed no faults. Investigators suspect human error to be the, ca the cause, yet no department has proved any evidence to support this. Technicians were able to recover the researchers' notes on the specimen from the internal network. On the blank of blank, the specimen began displaying a sharp increase in aggressive blank, cross-referencing the data or the date with various logs. Found only two events inconsistent with the sector's daily routine. The air filters were changed, and two, an hour prior to the incident, a civilian named Alice Blank entered the sector regarding an unrelated investigation. See introduce interview. Given their connection to the same AWE case, it's likely that Mrs. Blank's presence is relevant in the specimen's escape and to the blank. Investigation is ongoing. Okay, so we're assuming it's Alice Wake. So I'm going to read this again real quick. Specimen escape assessment. Containment equipment three days earlier. She has no fault. Human error to be the cause. Recover the researcher's notes on the specimen from the internal network. Blank, blank. The specimen began displaying a sharp increase in aggressive blank. Two events inconsistent with the sector's daily routine. So the air filters were changed. And Alice Wake, possibly, could be. Entered the sector regarding an unrelated investigation. But is connected to the same AWE case. Okay. Interesting. I feel like... Hmm. I can't even go look over here. Oh, I can't. I don't even have a sign here, but don't worry. I know what to do. Do we know each other? Huh? I feel... This feels familiar. Mm -hmm. He's in that one. He's in that I one. I can't seem to... Uh, I've forgotten that. I'm sorry. I'm... My name is Alan Wake. friend Tom. Tom Zane. There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. The diver. You, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. What the frick? The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An auteur like yourself. We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink. There's the spiral. Oh, nice springs. Oh. Get this. Oh. Is that finish? Let's get this. <coughs> Endless darkness. Nothing holds still. But we're very close now. You've been writing. You found a way to escape. It'll work this time. Writing? You found a way! No. I... I don't... Wait. There's something. It's 
my double. He's out there. I I've seen yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing to worry about. I'm dealing with it. It's fine, my friend. Let me handle him. You've met him? What the hell? Now, now, come on. You misunderstand me. <laughs> no one's ever opened another door in here besides the pyramid one. No one ever has. That Jesse. was Alan Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. What's he doing here? What's he doing here? He's chopped! And Thomas Zane was with him. The poet. No, wait. The, the, he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. <laughs> what even was he actually? There's so much. Oh my god, that was so cool. And they had the spiral and that picture in the back. And like, yo, Alan Wake just be spiraling, you know? He just, in the darkness, I just love it. Oh, I love all the themes. Let me in. It's like, and we have all these other ones. Oh my God. I knew I'd seen it. What was that? I knew I'd seen it before. Uh, I have no idea what that was just in. Oh, I can filter. Oh, it's only unread. Where did we just read about that? Please help me. Where did we just read about this? The circle with the dot. Where did... Good luck. I know. I don't... We just read it. <laughs> and I was like... Circle. It was, um, it was one of them. It was one of the 14 notes that we read today already in 20 minutes. <laughs> but look. Circle. Circle with the dot. Circle, circle, dot, dot. What is that from? Um, and there was called Dandy, you're the best. You're the bestest. I don't know where it was though. JK. LMNOP. JHIJK. LMNOP. Oh. It's not in here because this is. Oh, wait, maybe. No, this is all this, this stuff. Not collect correspondence senses. non-official so this was Keenum to Kirkland we stopped at the Keystone on our way to the target AWE like you asked oh my gosh wait okay I'm sending the report directly to you to let them a groom and Morales desertion issue see they think they deserted but they're trapped somewhere because they went through a threshold and they're just trapped or they're in some they're trapped in some threshold because they're saying the records is possible they switched teams like you suspected no they didn't they're lost an event definitely occurred here in keystone and i think grooman and morales got caught up in it our entire population vanished into thin air reminds me of the ordinary case yup this is different the guys are casualties not traitors yeah because they're in there you are absolutely right. No idea. Just trust me, bro. <laughs> if it was an AW, it seems to be over. We walk through the whole town, and the only strange thing we noticed were markings on various buildings, two overlapping circles with a dot in the shared space. Could be unrelated. Yeah, sure. Sure, it's un I'm sure it's unrelated. I'll show you the pictures when I get back. In the meantime, she sent a team manager. Okay, cool. Interesting. Okay. Keystone. Is that a place? Keystone's a place. We stopped at Keystone. What is Keystone? Where is that? This one. This one. You know? Texas. It's really dark. Ah. Everywhere. This whole DLC is going to be dark, I think. Ah, I only did it once. Ah!
when you hit the vending machines, the only thing that's there is pistachios. And then yesterday in Jesse's dream at the end, there was only pistachios on the desk of Trench when she was trying to figure out what to do in that dream and like delivering his mail. There were pistachios. Coincidence? I just love pistachios, I bet. <laughs> Same, honestly, they're so good. That's not a key. What's that? It looked different. Oh, pretty. Nothing gets past you when it comes to food. <laughs> <laughs> that feels like an attack, but I'll take it. Dr. Emil Hartman, ah! devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Broke loose, killed everyone it could, lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came, a resonance. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. What? Dr. Emil Hartman was desperate. The Federal Bureau of Control had stolen his life's work. This was his last chance, his final experiment. What he'd been too scared to do before. Hartman dove into the lake, was taken, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Only an echo of him remained, fragmented impulses on autoplay. Violent, bloodthirsty darkness in the driver's seat. Emerging from the lake, the thing was captured by the FBC. Brought in, contained, studied. The thing broke loose, killed everyone it could. The FBC fell back and sealed the sector. The thing was alone in the dark, lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. Not darkness, but similar enough. A sound. A resonance. A resonance? Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be a surprise. If there's one, why not another? The darkness inside the thing could have been immune, could have resisted, fought, could have been passed by, passed through with no effect. But it didn't and it wasn't. Maybe it had grown weaker over time, not aged. It was timeless, but weaker with no link to its source. A metamorphosis followed. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. What the frick is, are you talking about, my guy? What in the heck? <laughs> Alan, just right, and then I escaped. <laughs> so true. <laughs> so true. Let me out. One, two, three. Okay. Oh my gosh. What's she doing over there? I can't get over there. Don't touch me. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> 
get over here again. <laughs> Creepy, damp, and abandoned. I still Why did Wake actually. want me to come here? Because he wants everyone to suffer like he's suffering. He's insufferable. <laughs> Look, watch. Only pistachios will be here. Okay, that one's fake. That's not... We're in a different area, so that's not right. Oh, wait. It's there. Look. Only pistachios. You see? See? <laughs> but what does it mean? No spoilers. Lies, pistachio. <laughs> Filing and processing. God, what the hell's going on? What in the Alan Wake? That doesn't look like a house shift. Do I even want to know? No, I want to go in the bathroom. Okay, I'm done. Sorry. No, what the hell? This is not even... What the heck? I like it. It's kind of calming. Stop drinking. Oh my gosh. A copy of a copy of a copy. I'm busy. Saw a lot of notes already. Go down. Apartment arrest. Where are we? Did we just come in right here? Oh, never mind. And dash, but I don't have a lot Whoa. of. Oh, looks like the house has gotten a little wild in here. Yeah, Jesse, we've been in here. I just don't have a lot of energy when I bring my shield up, I think sometimes. I don't know what I'm doing. Hartman arrest, official arrest report. Hartman Emil. Victim names Wake, Allen, Tori Anderson, Odin Anderson, Blank. Rudolph Lane, Wendy DeSole, Thomas Emerson, Blank, Officer Name, Special Agent Remy Dennis, Charges, Kidnapping of Altered Individuals, One Count, Code 8, Sanctions Against Altered Organizations, Obstruction of Bureau Investigation, Breaching the Ash Act, Offender's property seized as evidence to be used in conjunction with an ongoing AWE investigation. Offender's personal effects have been sent to research for analysis. After being cleared by Bureau researchers, all victims have been released. Well, 
Biannual surveillance orders were assigned to each except the Anderson brothers due to their senility and wake possibly deceased. He probably wishes. I think dashing is possible to shield that there. Oh, maybe? Well, I can dash with it. I just don't do it a lot because when I have... I have it up and I, seem, I think I don't have energy most of the time or I don't remember. But I can't do damage. Like to do to dash at enemies and do damage, I think I have to have. Y'all, let me in there. I think I have to upgrade the ability. Right? Oh my God. Okay. I just thought of that. That picture was a broken wall. There's more of those. I've seen those in the regular game and I think I missed them. No way, now I wanna go look. I've seen them before and I thought of it, but I didn't really think of it. But I did think of it in the back of my mind, but I don't think I did it. I was like, oh, that's weird that it's like a broken wall in a picture. Oh my gosh, I've seen that in the base game. Well, if we see it, if I'm, uh, I've seen it before. You're waiting so long. I know. But like, it's like I break everything. So I, sometimes I just don't break stuff because I'm like, I'm always breaking stuff. But then right there, I was like, no way. I wonder. Liar ahead. Frick. Yeah, I bet you were. I remember, I vividly remember looking at one a couple days ago. I don't know where it was, though. Well, I found a lot of hidden rooms, but not like that. Frick. I knew it. That sucks. <laughs> Dash spamming? I feel like I do that all the time. Anyway. Oh my gosh, I remember looking at one. Now I don't know. Oh, I'm so pissed. <laughs> oh my god, I feel I feel so bad. Some of you were probably like ripping your hair out. Thank you for not telling me. <laughs> no way, Dandy, that's so funny. <laughs> The funny part is you've seen so many portraits like that and stared at them for moments. <laughs> well, that was the moment. I did it, finally. <laughs> because it was so obvious that I had to do it. That's so funny. I'm so sorry. The suspense. <laughs> Foot gossip. Excuse me? Hello. My feet gossip at night, and now I have to wear shoes to bed. Sincerely, me. Some things are left, should be left unwritten. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, so not up here yet, I think. Oh my god, I'm so pissed that I forgot, that I didn't realize that until now. That's super this funny. Darkness is blocking the door. So now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. You have a powerful light source at the darkness. Light burns it away, huh? Makes sense. Cool. That's so cool. Yellow. Yellow. There you go. Doesn't that feel better? Yeah. <laughs> Should I bring that light with me, maybe? <laughs> Mold! You don't stand a chance, mold. Stupid mold. Kill that. Ah! Stupid ass mold. Die. Just pre cleaning. Oh, that's just a reflection. I don't know. 
I just did that. <laughs> Tiger yeah. Shy, 80. Ah, thank you. Julia Jam, Julia Bond. Thank you so much. Welcome back for forever. Okay, I cleaned up the mold. Sweet. I don't even know what I got. I didn't finish the dark. Whoa, hello? I'm the janitor. This is so perfect. <gasps> what the hell is that? No. Why is all of this in the speech? Baby, baby, baby. I was like, baby, 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 oh. Wow, they literally just spoiled that that was Hartman, but okay. Name says Hartman, you got no shit? Thank you for telling me. What? Ew. It's a guy from Death Strand. That's all I can think of is Die Hartman. I'm serious. Give me this. No. Average, thank you so much. Just wondering if we remember him who we've been talking about in like half the notes we've read today. Yes, thank you. Thanks, Average. Hate that guy. Me too. Really. Like, get it. Where are you going? I'm, I'm reading the notes. What was I gonna do? We have a new weapon? Surge? Whoa. Sticky bombs. Surge fires adhesive munitions that detonate Wait. when manually triggered or if the timer expires. Thanks, Michael. I just got an explodey weapon. I'm going to do this. Okay, this is explode ammo cost. Uh, projectile speed, damage against armor, we could do that. Damage while low. Evade cost after weapon kills. Ooh. Ground slam damage after weapon hits. Ooh, also. <laughs> Speed. Just more damage. Why not? More damage. Just do it. Evade cost on element pickup. Evade cost on dealing shield ability damage. Okay, these are like a little more specific situational perks. Specifically from the DLC. Well, that makes sense since it just unlocked in the DLC. So that makes, that makes sense. All right. Filing and processing a firebreak operation center active investigations. I'm bringing this with me. So I can't go in here yet. No Spider Man spoilers, you haven't played it yet. Spider Man shoots webs out his wrists. The third thing. The sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. 
Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. What the hell is going on? Why are you the main character? I'm the main character. Why are you quoting everything? The resonance carves its way through the thing that had been Hartman, vibrating, remolding. The sound changes the darkness, and the darkness changes the sound. They both changed what remained of Hartman. They all turned into something else. A third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched as anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost an Ouroboros, a spiral, a maelstrom. The gravity well of a black hole, twisting inward, tightening, taking you deeper and deeper to the bottom, the heart, and through to the other side. The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're in new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, 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 yeah, orange peel. The Alan. third thing was a monster. <laughs> He'd tear apart any ordinary person crossing his path. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. There was nothing Why are you doing this? About Faden. Thank you. But I think you've been locked up in the darkness too long. You're getting bored. He's just writing shit. He's like, I need to, I need to entertain myself somehow. Let me just write some bullshit right now. <laughs> Alan, please stop this. I was like, baby. Baby, baby, orange peel, baby, 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 orange peel. Where's the battery? Alan Wink is a huge J Beeps fan. Huge. Give me that. Oh. to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is not subjective, and hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. Astral dives do not occur over the time of the station. Wow, that's a Thank bullshit. you for your attention. Thank you for your attention. That's BS. You get paid overtime for going in. Reminder, all employees are required to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is not subjective, and hours passed on alternative planes cannot be claimed. Astral dives do not accumulate overtime compensation. Thank you for your attention. I love her voice. And also, that's trash. That's trash, I'm just saying. And I was like, baby. It works definitely differently, but it should count for the hours that they are existing in that astral plane, you know? Oh my god. I cleaned some of the mold already. Hold on. Where the f Put this down. I got I got a job to do. The vents they are full of Mold shit. It's not Wait, we're, we're, for you. Hidden. Those mold. I accidentally interrupted Rest. the first one. I did the mold. I can tell where you are hidden. I can tell you where you are hidden. I can tell you where you are hidden. Darkness everywhere. New day, same old bloody city. Says the old way. My car would for nothing. Get rid of it. I'm lost. I'm gonna put this down here. I need this stuff. NASA. I 
I did some of it, not all of it yet, though. Missions? Yeah, so true. Black market. I'm just gonna collect all these if I can. Okay, those are the bathrooms. It's really dark. <laughs> Let me just get all this interrogation complaint. What's that? What's that? Agent Fisher, day six inside the motel. Utilized surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Most of the detectors in the lobby. Agent Fisher, day six inside the motel. <laughs> exactly. Utilized I was surveillance methods are as follows. Fiber optic cameras slid under the individual room doors. Motion detectors in the lobby area. That's like Trip not good. Triggering a flash camera across the main entrance. Even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best. But mostly just inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is damaged. I don't know how exactly. I uh I think this place is making fun of me. That's the only explanation. I, I can hear them laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I could hear the call bell go and ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's, there's no one there. There's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me. Whoever they are, I think... Wait, shh. There's something. I gotta get this. Gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck. Cooperate. Okay, there we go. All right, that, that was faint, but I definitely heard movement coming from the hallway. I think I might have finally caught one. Ha! <laughs> the recording better work this time, or I swear to God. I'll... What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a. Where's my. Ah! Uh, interrogation complaint. Kirkland, so you put me on my desk duty just because I did that thing I was hired to do? My job? Want to know what I call that? Bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Asking us to interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've heard in my life, and I've heard some fucking stupid things. They already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more. And they could just sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words, trying not to leak classified terminology. They already know the fucking terminology. If you think pulling me off the case was, will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people, all to make a train turn altered. We have him dead to rights, and you need to let me back in the interrogation cells oh, so I can mind. get him to flip on his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. This won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension. See if that slows me down. Agent he Hewitt. Slay Agent Hewitt. Bemnock, thank you so much for five gifted. Welcome back today. Thank you. Welcome if you got a sub. How are you? Black market. Official findings for illegal altered item market. I didn't even know this would be a thing. Black Market Hub specializing in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and other assorted ceremonial objects, as well as genuine altered and paranatural materials, was raided in blank Czech Republic by a team of special investigators. Unsuccessful attempts to, by suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. The following interrogations revealed that not only is there a vast network of these retailers, but that they seem to be gathering information on AI and other paranormal materials from sources unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau's concern here is threefold. One, there is a growing underground market for paranormal materials, which implies a grown awareness of their existence among a niche group of general public. 
B, these criminal individuals do not seem aware of the item's paranormal powers and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas. And three, the motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. NASA cooperation decision. Interagency cooperation, re-NASA. Following the NASA FBC coordination agreement of 1972, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advancements based on our research, including the black, black, black rock lining now found in all spacefaring vessels. In return, all data gathered during space missions is made available for, for Bureau researchers to analyze. Recently, certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau, either intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs accrued by both examinations, oh my god, both organization has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the blank far outweighs any spending related to the processing and delivery of BlackRock from its medium Earth orbit the blink will provide the Bureau with an unparalleled resource for remotely monitoring and photographing AWE sites, a resource that would be lost if the partnership ends. It is the opinion of this committee that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. Oh, fun. Can you guys read for me, please? Tripwire, I'm going to pass away. Dude, it's because my whole mouth hurts. I burnt my tongue yesterday. I bit the side of my cheek and my tooth hurts. I've just realized that I, like when I started stream today and started talking, I was like, this is not good. <laughs> no, I'm so, dude, and my brain. I think this place is making fun of me. Holy frick, I did not realize how <laughs> damaged I was. These nerds use too many words, I know. <laughs> okay, we got some. We got some. Oh, and my nose is stuffy, and I'm a stupid idiot. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Where we put this? Good idea, critter. the hell am I put I found it that was just to do that hold on Josh move away from the door I have a nice My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this place, very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness is great to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. What's he talking about? My understanding knows. of the darkness is fragmented. This is crazy. Incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces destined to collide and given this conflict of natures we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness both figuratively and literally any significant light source can be used as protection even weaponry against this metaphysical gloom and then there are the artists I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness or did their work perhaps even create it. 
With Wake now secure in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. So true. He's still doing that, too, with his baby, 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 yeah, orange peel. <laughs> but what does it mean? The shadow, paranatural entity, aka the shadow, is an aggressive link consisting, consisting of three known types. Type A, localized manifestations of sentient blink, capable of occupying organic and inorganic material as well as exerting blink over its surroundings. Type B, shaded individuals, human bodies blink by the shadow. These individuals become notably more aggressive, but do seem to retain blank of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as whether their condition is reversible. Type C shared objects, or shaded objects, similar to type B, except that inanimate objects are blank solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals, CAW35, which may imply a shared link to a blank intelligence threat this entity p entity poses warrants immediate exploration of offensive defensive measures the investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lighting sources some internally provided or internally powered to prepare for the eventuality of am blank okay eagle limited summary awe 44 a train derailment resulting in 62 casualties. This is the what we were talking about, the guy who was pissed. He's talking about the guy who did this trail derailment, apparently. Or train derailment. Resulting in numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group known as Blink. As a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event. It remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or the direct result of the sabotage. The Bureau had been tracking said group at the time, and the intel gathered suggested an event of this caliber was imminent in Bloomington. As a result, a response team on site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. This individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further studies. Nice. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. Yeah, we are okay. opposing forces. Lights are on. Who's there? Where'd he come from? <laughs> I've been murdered. That's fine.
Ranger Airborne. Frig those guys. They're fast. They dodge. They haven't done shots. Oh my goodness. Okay, so eradicate the mold, eliminate the darkness, shine light on the plants. got so much to do. Subgroup of Hiss Corrupted Rangers manifest ability levitate. Similar to Hiss Elevated. No telekinetic abilities. That's good. The Hiss can share permutations through a type of network or perhaps osmosis. However, the fact that this development in Hiss Rangers has only been observed in the investigation sector may indicate that an environmental factor is responsible. Could be responsible to responding to an altered item or other paranatural element found only in that sector. Or perhaps this is a natural progression. Not enough time has passed to determine a conclusive trajectory. Interesting. Okay, well. Let's keep going. Well, wait. What's in that? Or that's the corridor we can't get in yet, maybe? Should go in the light. Something in this darkness is draining me. Creepy. Where's the battery? Can we bring one with us? We need two. Oh, we gotta get the lights on in here. What if we stay in too long? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Ah! Sorry. Oh my god. I swear she moved without me doing it. That was weird. I got like pulled. Okay, I'm making stuff up. I got scared. I'm scared of dark. <laughs> I was in it for so long. I don't like that. Okay, give me this. Uh, or unless this is power of the lights in here. Oh, I can't. Freak you, dude. Okay, never mind. No, I don't like it in there. I don't like it. No, thank you. Bye. Shit. Now what? <laughs> what is that? On elevator. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely do not touch me. Absolutely not. <gasps> I never turned on the lights so fast in my life. Hello? 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 Enough of that. Enough of that!
done it. Easy peasy. I'll just collect all these and then read them all. Hey. Actually, I really don't want to read them all in one thing. Hello? Excuse me. Oh my god, this one's pissing me off. Thank you. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you I'm sorry, did, ma Mr. Hennerman. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't... I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, okay, not an end, not... Not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I shouldn't have given such a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes me look smart. And I thought if I looked smart, I'd get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could move out of my parents' basement. I may even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. What movie was that? Brian Hennerman. Brian Hennerman, 21 years old, resident of Southern Texas. I'm sorry, ma'am, but I really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hennerman. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? Delivery Disaster. Hartman background. Dr. Emil Hartman is an academic psychotherapist that owned and operated a recovery center in blank Washington focused on the treatment right pause, on the treatment of artists struggling with creative blocks and other mental disorders. Publicly, Dr. Hartman's treatment center seemed unremarkable in its methods and purpose. Oops. Privately, however, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent blank abilities that may possess they may possess with the aim of shaping blank to his own benefit which has earned him a class two paracriminal designation. For more on the link between artists and their ability to blink reality through artistic medium, see file blink. Investigation has proven that Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone. After being approached by the Bureau during the blank investigation, he displayed no remorse or intention to cease his actions. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated and released blank months later, having been deemed a negligible threat. His medical license has been permanently revoked. So interesting. Door appearance. Ocean View Motel. An excursion into the Ocean View Motel and Casino discovered a previously unseen door in the lobby hallway. This door featured a spiral shaped marking designating designation door blank. Similar to the other doors, it is locked and cannot be forced open. Alice Wake, a person of interest in the Bright Falls AWE, referred to that, and the former wife of missing author Alan Wake, former, former, with the missing author Alan Wake, a suspected para-utilitarian and blank, contacted the agent Shaw and Dempsey of the investigation sector using the phone number given to her in 2010 in accordance with civilian outreach protocols. The call resulted in Mrs. Wake being brought into the oldest house for an in-person interview. For a full transcript, refer to file blank on blank, 2017. The excursion into the Oceanville Motel occurred later the same day. Conclusion. Determining whether there was a, this was a basic synchronicity event, if Alice Wake is responsible for its appearance, or if the door itself relates to AWE 35, is paramount. She should be returned to the oldest house, possibly take, even taken into the motel itself to confirm if any other changes occurred or occur. Interesting. Okay, so the door wasn't there before, and then it was. And then 2017, they talked. Yeah, that door definitely has to do with AWE 35. Because also he has a typewritten page that would come from under the door. Do I like it? Yeah, I love it. It's so good. Tazzle, do you like it? 
Connection to Alan Wake? Have you picked up any connections to Alan Wake? No. <laughs> yes. Yes, many. And then I'm doing the DLC right now. This is like endgame DLC. That's Alan Wake. Yeah, I'm still confused about Mr. Scratch exactly. I don't really know. Oh, she didn't know. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hidden sheets. Fun. Shoom. 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 Oops. Shoom. Shoom. Whatever. I want to play Shoom. I'd actually be playing an arcade game. Survive against a horde of hiss, that's it? Okay. Bring it on. Okay, they're level eight, it's fine. Sorry, how long is this? Okay, second sliver is probably like six or eight more slivers. It's fine. Oh, I don't have energy. We just gotta keep them under control. Weapon hits. <sighs> yeah, I feel like we're not gonna see soon. <sighs> what the hell? Where's my ammo? <laughs> Man, my gun's not doing a lot of damage now.
have that? I'm nervous. I'm sweaty. Hold on. <laughs> what? I just don't want to get that close. Are they gonna be crazy?
Everything's fine. Branches at him. Where you go? Where'd you go? Too long to die. Guys, so aggressive. Whoa, Jesse. trying to go get that health. I didn't even want to fight him. No, I'm never doing that again. That was so long. I never want to do that again. Holy moly. That's dumb. I thought my shield would save me. I thought I had full freaking stuff. Freak that. I never want to do that again. That was so long. No, thank you. 
<laughs> no thanks. I'm pissed. Oh my god. Why'd they just keep coming? <laughs> Whew. All right. <sighs> A few tries. Yeah. She. Those guys are annoying. I just wanted to zip by him and get that health, but I must have just run out of energy. Or just if you take enough damage, I guess your shield breaks, but I guess I don't, I don't use it enough. Bye, Mitch. Thanks. That was exhausting. I didn't know it was gonna be that long. Oh my gosh. Night Spring screenplay, page one. This screenplay was found after the Bureau acquired the Night Springs television series and all its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become one of the show's writers. Barry and him talked about that in Alan Wake, that he wanted to write one of the episodes or something, I don't remember, or that he did. What the heck? Night Springs spec script episode Over the Threshold, Darkly, by Alan Wake. Bruh. Hosts, yo. It is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us, and even more so to possess them. But what happens when those forces are not ours to claim, or even of this world? What if they are the things you can discover in Night Springs? <laughs> Secret Lab Night. We are in a secret lab. The large sign on the wall reads, The Federal Bureau of Night Springs. Scientist. I've told you several times, Director. It isn't ready. Director. It's ready when I say it's ready, Doctor. Scientist. But the being, be but the being beyond the portal, we have no control over it. Oh my god. Vending machine. Procedures. Which, which vending machine? How do we know? It's in it's in the investigation sector. Told you there was something with the vending machine. I told you. None known. Testing in the investigation sector is currently ongoing. Description, altered effect. A vending machine. It's front covered in a faux wood panel. Coin operated. Buttons for selecting food products. The item generates and stores a variety of material, both edible and otherwise, in its rows of internal trays. Initial testing suggests the item reacts to the mind of the individual in closest proximity and will produce whatever they subconsciously desire. I do love pistachios. Attempts to cause the item to create a living blank have consistently failed. Background. <laughs> Must hate pistachios, I'm sure. <laughs> The item was discovered in a nursing home in Blank, Alberta, after a resident named Muriel Blank called a local news station about a magic vending machine. The news story reported that the nursing home staff was purposefully stocking the machine with distinctive food and objects as a way to raise resident spirits. The bureau response team encouraged this story while confiscating the item. Hmm. Jesus, don't scare me. What like the that. hell? He's scared. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. <laughs> it's a one way system. Try to find an intercom. Okay, hello? Great call. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. That thing is a person? Uh, he was a person. 
We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp? Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You could wrap them around your- I don't have any of those, Langston. That's what Barry Shit. did. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right, okay, well, uh... Break a leg. Oh, uh, why did I say that? Okay, this Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? Uh-huh. I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, want I don't to brag. know why people are making it so personal. <laughs> right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. True. Well, maybe that's not true. Well. Darling is famous for being a bit out there, but <laughs> when he's weird, it's charming. Yeah. Altered items really aren't that frightening once you get to know them. If you figure out what they like or don't like, you know, what sets them off, then there's nothing to worry about. I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. So we're true. supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I've spread rumors, just, you know. Mm -hmm. Not me though. Not I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on those kinds of things. I need to stay focused so I can get my work done and get home to feed Alfred. He's of course, just talk I can always make it home for mealtime, so I have my neighbor check in on Alfred at seven o'clock oh, if I'm good. not back yet. Cat. She's very nice. Her name is Maria. She's older. She came to New York in the 50s to attend school and has been here ever since. Okay. She has a couple of kids. I met them at Thanksgiving. Big family. Very nice people. Anyway, she has a key to my apartment, and she gives Alfred his dinner if I'm not home. I'm gonna have to buy her a nice fruit arrangement as a thank you after this. I'm missing a lot of Alfred's meal times. She's probably gonna have to go to the store for more wet food. I'll have to remember to pay her back. Hold on, let me make a note. Pay back Maria for <laughs> oh my God. Alfred. Yesterday I just said I hope he has somebody watching his cat. Food. We were just saying that. Okay. So I'm oh, glad. one more thing. <laughs> Rosa. And buy her a fruit arrangement. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Done. Are Done. you a cat person? I don't think I ever asked. I you am. seem like one, though. <laughs> You'd like Alfred. He's very proper, <laughs> really carries himself well, you know? I named him after my favorite poet. Felt like a good fit. I got Alfred just before Sylvia died when I was at the... Huh. You know, I don't really remember where I got Alfred from. But, boy, those two did not get along. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Sylvia thought she owned the place. Didn't like me getting in her way. Scratched me more than once when I was just trying to move oh, her Oh, Sylvia was also a cat. <laughs> that cat was a real asshole. Wow. I'm realizing now that that That's language was harsh. not entirely um, professional. You see, Sylvia didn't tolerate most people, or animals, or anything. And that's what I meant when I said asshole. <laughs> I would never use that word about a person. It was just, uh, you know, uh, hey, there's a light flashing on the console here. I got to, uh, check this out. I'll get back to you later. Real uh, smooth, okay. Langston. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh, we're up here now. Makes sense. Oh, thank you so much, Langston. Bless you. Okay, let's go this way first. Why not? Why not? Why not? 
take a few pictures. If you lose a moment, you might lose a lot. So why not? Why not? Thank you, Hillary Duff. I was just gonna say, is Alfred an altered item who's like alive? Yeah, I thought that same thing. I wanna change my outfit, but I'm a little busy right now. I don't feel like I'm allowed to leave this area. Yeah, we never went back and talked to Langston, but I did when I turned in. Fight off Hartman. I mean, I didn't really do that much yet, but okay. Travel. Just real quick. Ho hello? Why can I only change it in that central executives? Hmm? Is that where I store my, I my outfits? Not since end game, so true. Panopticon. I didn't talk to Underhill either, but I hate her. Please don't make me. All this paranatural power contained in one place is a risk. Makes me wonder what other dangers are locked away inside the Bureau. What did I just say? I'll talk to her later anyway when I finish her mold stuff. So a great privilege, sir. We are both pleased with our assignment. That's great. Thank you. Our assignment. Hey. Hello, ma'am. I heard about your little tussle over in nostalgia. So, uh, good house cleaning and things will get back to normal, right? Right? I mean, our normal, anyway. Situation report. Can I get a situation report for the sector? Whew, okay, uh, we still have to perform a proper inventory of the cells. Lord knows how many altered items snuck out oh, during God. all this. Staffing. We definitely lost some people. Uh, gonna have to hit those college career fairs, am I right? <laughs> huh. Hard to imagine the FBC at job fairs. I feel like... The hiss are still tearing up the place faster than we can fix it, but the containment sector is stable. Ish. Considering the alternative, I'm happy with stable-ish. Stable-ish. Any thoughts on me serving as director? I know it was a sudden change. Oh, uh, no complaints so far. Trench was all secrets, lots of meetings behind closed doors. You seem much more approachable. Parent. Oh. But if I can give you some advice, ma'am, mm -hmm. keep a grip on who you are. I've been here a long time, and I don't know if it's the job or this place, but people change here, and not for the better. I'll try to keep my head on straight. Hmm. What about your future? Will you stay on after things calm down, Langston? Are you asking if I'm quitting? Oh, no, ma'am. I'm not having some mid-level agent make a mess of my panopticon. Plus, I'm racking up serious overtime hours with this lockdown. Just don't take too long clearing out the hiss. My cat gets separation anxiety. I'll do what I can. He must have gotten a pet sitter. <laughs> now we know. I'll see you later, Langston. Bet he did. Well, I'll at least, be here. At least like always. she checks on him every day. Why would we smack him? Sir, why don't I like play Spider-Man? Because I don't feel like it. That's it? I don't want to. because I want to play other games. That's not the right one. Wait. Is it? Oh, 
Hello? Get up there, and it's making me so mad. <laughs> oh my, why is it silent? Can you grab the ledge, or you just want to keep making me angry? Shoulder hurts. <laughs> I've been fighting so much today. <sighs> Where are we going? What's going on here? Why am I even here? Hello, Soupy. How doing? Him. Is that 
count as any of that? I don't know if that counted. Eradicate, no. Shine light on the, oh, shine light on the plants. Oh. We'll do that soon. Oh, we did on one plant. Christmas lights? What? Is that my real life or? It's not. Yes, it is. It's a thing to talk to Link so much. Anyway. The fair thing. Tiger, you gotta get off my computer. You're gonna turn off my streaming computer. Please don't. Get off of there, please. Director Faden here. I need a ranger dispatched to my position. This are in for it now. Woo! Oh my god, you scared me. I, don't, I asked for a ranger, but... Tiger. He jumped off. <laughs> I do have two computers, yes. Alright, come on, friend. Deployed ranger, I'm sure you'll be fine. I summoned. <laughs> I'm gonna die. down the computer please what the hell so rude I just had to fight so much give me a break give me one send a ranger to my location oh let's put him down let's do it <laughs> shots hit when I aimed at them, then I would be less mad, just saying. Like, if I'm gonna have to shoot at these guys... my face.
I thought there was health over here. Oh my god, I should not have played that arcade game. I've exhausted all my skills. Just kidding. Alright, let's change up. Well, I can't hit them in the air with... If I put on the new one I just got. Wait, what's this one? The explosive one. I might change that. To, mm, I might change my shatter out for now because... I might not get close enough to use shatter at the moment. All my stuff is just like energy cups. Alright, let's see how that is. Wait, which one did I change? Because they just dodged it, so. Oh, I'm kind of. Wait! I just went in and then and then we were just stuck in there. How? When I'm fully leveled up and I have only energy. I'm limited, okay? I'm feeling limited. I should be able to zip around as much as I want. <laughs> okay? How how do I have a problem with energy when I am fully leveled? She should have unlimited power. Superhero status. Absolutely unstoppable. That's what I think. These guys, I have fully upgraded weapons. So rude. I'm joking, but I'm not joking. Arker, rail. Healing is like eight miles away from you, I'm just wondering. Okay.
I did it. Oh yeah, I'm not a conservative gal when it comes to fighting in these games, so I can feel that. I'm a little too aggressive most of the time. GG. What else? What am I doing in here? Panoptocracy. Stop, we're not even there. You're making stuff up. Where are we going? Are we going under here? How come... I'm not understanding. Network disconnected. Why am I even in here? So I don't go here? Or do I? Because I am not seeing where... I'm not seeing where you're talking about. How to turn this? I don't even see a dot or a button. Maybe I destroyed it all. Oh, maybe up here. There we go. Holy crap. Go. I was like, where else can I go? I'm getting fatigued. Give me that. Oh, get rid of the darkness. All right, Ati. Was this what you had in mind? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, just pick it up. <laughs> Brain missing literally me. Oh my god. I'm having trouble still. <laughs> Literally me right now. Brain missing. To the good for nothings, the security check. I know you took a part of my brain when you put me through that metal detector. I'm not stupid. I know what they're really for. What I don't know is whether taking a part of my brain causes me to lose my memories or to lose sleep. I've been told if you lose sleep, you lose everything else too. That's where you trick us regular people. Now I don't know which it is, but I can't remember what you did to me. But I can tell you all this much. I don't find this funny at all. I want my memories back. And you can be sure the next time I visit the Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport, I will come and find you and make a fix and make you fix what you broke. Sincerely, I don't think I'll be signing this with my real name. Like I said, I'm not stupid. You can just mind your own business. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What? Honestly, on to something, I think. This is spooky. Chat, this is spooky. Look at that. Nice. One more here, maybe.
That's what happened. Rude. Mold. Eradicate it. I am gaining. Did it? Did it? Yeah, she doesn't need to carry things with her hands. Brain. Okay. Oh, here we go. Nice spring screenplay, page two. The robust director shoved the nerd-like scientists aside. <laughs> Sorry. The robust. Actually, the nerd-like scientist is robust as well. Just saying and heads for the portal control panel. He slams the on button with a determined fist. Director, all the more reason. The entire screen is filled with dangerous red. Then it fades away and we see the two men are in another dimension. The air ripples around them as if they were a 1983 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am sitting in the Texas sun after a five day road trip. Unknown dimension night. Scientists, what have you done? You've doomed us. Control yourself, doctor. Where's the be this beast of yours? Right there, sir. A horrible, shapeless, shifting entity fills the horizon. It can't be described. That's how horrible it is. Doctor, what a thing of beauty you've been keeping from me. Ellen, this is some interesting writing right here. A little bit... A little bit goofy. Now what? Christ! Oh, there's Did the lot. Hartman thing do all this? Totally. Oh, okay. So that one needs to be all the orangish red ones. Oh wait, I can't tell. Orange, not red. Well, that is orange. Oh, wait, that one's also orange. Uh oh. Then red first? Yeah. There's three. applies to all faucets within the oldest house. <laughs> Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Thank you for your attention. What the heck? Jeez. I love portal. Was this the way we we're supposed to go? Wait. Do I only have two or three now? Oh yeah. Let's do more. Hold on. Yay, I'm 
so glad. I'm really excited. What's blue? Did we already do blue? Oh, we didn't even do blue. Oh, that's four. It's just for treasure. Gotcha. My gosh, be careful. Service fence. What time is it? Okay, I gotta go. Not yet, but uh, pretty soon. started early cuz i have to end early so but nothing too different than other days What do you mean? <laughs> no, you're not. I think I blew myself up. Stop it. He keeps jumping on my streaming computer and I'm scared he's like sitting on the button. Hey, be normal. Please. Is that the hype dream? Hi, be normal. What's going on? You psycho? He's been so crazy today. We played so much before stream and he's just so wired. I 
myself up again. No way I'm gonna die right now. Don't. Did I blow myself up or did you shoot me? Wait, I don't wanna do all that again. Tiger, that's your fault. No offense, I love you, but that's your fault. You're so cute though, you're so cute. Oh, the lights are off. I think I shouldn't use that anymore. I'm pissed. <laughs> Bruh. Back to shatter. Charge is too dangerous for me. They're not even that hard to kill. Dead in its tracks. Let's get the train altered item. All aboard. I think we looked over there, right? Yeah, we got that item. Choo choo. With the tree. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Good evening, all you fine looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. Oh my god. Fire! Fire! Everyone, stay in your seat. In your seats. Nothing to sir. Sit down. Supposed to do it in a certain order? Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Good Carlinville, afternoon, and ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Eagle Limited bound Springfield. for Chicago. That 
was... chaotic. I felt like it was trying to tell me something. Uh-huh. So... I wonder if I can make sense of it. Um, sure. Well, we've got ten minutes, so hopefully we can figure it out. <laughs> okay, so... Good evening, all you fine-looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears. Okay. As we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. And then dinner. Uh, I feel like that's the order I did it in, is the one that makes Good sense. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, Well, those are going to be before Chicago. Tickets, please. So. Tickets. That, so that one, you put your tickets, and then you go on, and then it's that one. And then, what's this one again, when they crash and die? And then there's a fire? Wait. So we do that. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. And That's Alton, Good afternoon, Carlinville, ladies and gentlemen, and, and welcome and aboard the Eagle Bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets Here's ready and enjoy the ride. Yeah. Yeah. I lied. This one and then that one. Okay. I just did loud <laughs> noises. <laughs> this one. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Good afternoon, Alton, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready. That, oh, that was a glitch. I thought I did it. I don't want to wait between each guess. Okay, I feel like it should be you get you. Wait, what did I do? Get your tickets, and then you get on. Welcome to the train, and then we're preparing for dinner, and then you get dinner, and then. Let me hear this oh one God. again. Fire, fire. your tickets ready and enjoy the ride we will not okay i don't know because i did the order that makes sense in my brain but i don't want to wait to hear all of them do i have to wait to hear all of them before i go to the next one or maybe i did it because i had to reset i'm not a patient gal You're just wrong. I'm gonna do it backwards. No, next stop is on the train already. I swear I did the right order. Like when you go in, this and that, I feel like I did the right order the first time. Then you, oh no, I must have done the violin the first. Bound for Chicago. Okay, I thought I did that one. Your tickets, this one's right, chat. Don't worry. This one's Told you. I thought I already 
did that order. I'm sorry. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a ticket? Uh. You had a pretty dark ride, huh? But I hope you're done replaying it now. Oh my god, I did it. That's so annoying. I thought I did that order already. That's why I didn't do it again. <laughs> oh, can we go through there? Nice. Poor people. There's the darkness. I was like, it's gotta be here somewhere. All right. Surprised when I open my inventory. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't even have a mission active now. That was creepy. Oh my god, it's dark over there. Oh, there's some over here. Oh, there's an item. These are all crazy. Like, they're different. Oh. No, I'm not reading them. Ooh. Minus 100. Oh, that was for Pierce. Oh, no. Shatter. Where did it, why did I just see Pierce? Oh, I must have went like... I went, gone, or I went like that and then read it. Oops. Spread minus a hundred. They're toast. They're all toast. Oh, the jinx, thank you. I can't see. All right. Welcome. I gotta go. What's up there? We just left it. Hi, welcome. Oh, we're going up in there. Supplement? Succulent? Succulent. <laughs> Drink our procedures. This item altered effect can be avoided by simply not entering it. Proper signage and barriers should provide sufficient containment. The item is currently held in the investigator sector West Hangar for ongoing investigations. I must exterior is that of a standard CZ-10 Vista Dome train car, largest known altered item on record. Its interior seems to be adjacent reality related to a trauma or memory belonging to a blink, not the physical item's own history. Causation for this link is still to be determined, but possibilities include the outside interference possibly responsible for the item's alter state, state or trauma imprinting via shared memory states. The item was discovered when the Bureau responded to a suspected crime scene in Bloomington, Illinois. The item was identified as an altered item and transported to the Bureau for examination and testing. Some of the Bureau's the Bureau has gathered concrete evidence that the train derailment was in fact the work of a paracriminal group known as Blank which according to the Bureau's intel has shown a concerning interest in experimenting with the artificial manufacturing of altered materials. Knowing the group largely operates in the American Midwest, the Bureau worked alongside the FBI, FBI to ascertain their movements and rendezvous locations. The cooperation provided agents with information led to the arrest in conjunction with the AW case. Under suspicion of involvement, Blank was brought in for questioning 
An interrogation performed by Agent Blink resulted in the suspect being kept in a holding cell for two days without food in breach of the Paracriminal Rights Act. Afterwards, the suspect confessed to his involvement in the Blink group and provided information on the members in exchange for his freedom. Supple. Supple. What? Excellent. Give me that. Wait, where'd it go? Give me that. I swear I just went through Evelyn's mod, but I didn't. from Ohio, so true. Alright, let's go save. I gotta go! Let's see. Oh wait, and then we should be able to go up there. To the left, maybe? Oh, through there. Let's see if there's a safe spot. That's me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not a safe spot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, God! I got the item, bitch. <laughs> I think now I don't have to run back to the to the control point. Uh, all right. Did I? I don't know if I did actually. <laughs> okay, y'all. Uh, thank you for being here. I gotta stop here because I'm gonna do some Halloween stuff. It's fine. Boing. I didn't get it, but it's fine. I gotta go. I'm tired. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks, Michael, for the bits. Thanks for being here for the early stream. I'll see you tomorrow to keep going on this DLC. And then we'll just go to D in the next couple days. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for the support. And I'll see you later. All right. Thanks, y'all. Bye.